What's up guys, if you don't know me, my name is Chris Saputo. I play with Team Leverage in the semi-pro division right now. And behind me, we have the 2024 NXL Windy City Major. We're gonna walk through the layout together, hopefully show you some shots off break. If more people come, maybe we could show you some lanes and some gameplay, so stay tuned for that. Initially looking at it, no one's safe. I'm sure as some of you guys know, I just came back from Paris. I was lucky enough to get my dual citizenship recently and I was able to play for Team Italy. If anybody's interested in buying a jersey, this is gonna be the last week I'm selling them. So message me on Instagram or Facebook. My name on Facebook is Chris Caputo. On Instagram, my name's Chris Caputo 14. These are high quality jerseys made by Anthrax if you guys don't know them. As you can see on the back, it has my last name and the number four. They're lightweight, they're breathable, and they look sick. If you're interested, message me. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so let's get started with the breakdown. All right, so looking at the only safe bunker on this field, the home. Looking at shots off break, you can shoot that can, sneak in a shot right over there. Can shoot the big brick if someone takes a run up there. And all the other bunkers will be pretty easy to get to. Maybe not that Dorito that looks like you could squeeze in a shot over here if you stand out of the home. Looking up top, you got the home to home shot. You could also shoot the can right there. Looking snake way, you could definitely dump some paint over and, and shoot the corner, but that mini W that's over there looks like it could be hard to shoot if that guy dies really low and early. Can't really see much else. Let's head over to the snake side. You got the can, you got the center wedge and that Dorito side wedge. Can't see the Doritos too well, but you can see the wrap on it a little bit. Over here, you could see if this guy looks inside, but you can't really see much else. Looking this way now. Looks like the corner could shoot you if you're standing up. Stay low, he can't. As you can see right here, your mirror can't see you till you take about two steps out. Wrapping it. These are the bunkers that could see you. Okay, next up, we got the mini W right here, the God. You got a nice shot on the Dorito right here, if he's sleeping. Nothing really in the middle. Wrapping on it, if that pins all the way straight, I'm sure that Aztec will be able to see you while you're wrapping it right here. Your mirror will definitely see you, the corner will see you. And that wedge on the snake side will definitely see you. Got a couple of steps till you're in the snake, but he has that gap. Now the snake corner. Dorito, you can't really see much besides that Dorito right there. You could throw paint over to that can, to that can. You might be able to see that snake side wedge as well. Now looking wire side, you got your mirror. You got the mini W. That pin will probably block that Aztec right there. Then you got that wedge as well. Over here, going into the snake. You got the home that could see you. Got the can. Shots inside, you got the 50 Dorito. Can't really see the middle structure, but you got the two Doritos. Snake side wedge and the home. Okay, looking down the wire right here, you'll be able to see everything. Okay, now moving up the inside, because I think that might be the safer route versus being susceptible to possibly this wedge shooting at you. Going on the inside. Got the 50 brick right there, your brick of course, hopefully they're not in there, and then the Dorito brick. Um, if you back up, first thing you see, you'll be able to see is a, a snake side wedge, the home. Okay, coming around here might be a little difficult. I could see the home drop in paint. Maybe even that can or the snake side wedge. Okay, next up in the snake, you'll be able to see that Dorito brick and that third Dorito. And then the snake side wedge, the can, and the home. Okay, now with the 50 snake, I'm not too sure if you would want to stop here. You don't really have much. You might be able to sneak in a shot on that Dorito brick. You do have the snake side wedge and that Dorito corner right there and that center can, and the home. You have the Aztec, you stay low, you might be able to block yourself out from that. Let's see, wrap shots, you got the home. You got the two cans right here that are in a line, those Doritos. Going on to the enemy side of the field right now. First thing you definitely have to worry about is that center 50 and that 50 Dorito. 
Next up, the Dorito right before. And then you got the third Dorito, second, and the corner. And the two cans. This pin blocks out the home. Next up, the Mini W on the enemy side. Okay, if you're on this side of the field now, it's all necks, backs, and packs. Snake wedge, Dorito brick, and that mini Dorito wedge if he's sleeping over there. You should be able to catch at least this Dorito. And you do have shots on the can and the home. Just got to watch out before you shoot it. Okay, next up we got this middle can. I'm not too sure how useful it will be. If this person has a good gun, he might be able to get the kill on that Dorito can or maybe even that snake Aztec, or maybe throw some blind shots over, but he does have the potential of getting shot by either one of those players for sure. Looking at it initially, you don't really have too many shots at all. You might be able to drop some paint over into that snake too if he goes, but not really much. Dorito way, can't really see or stop anything over here. So this might be just a good outlet bunker into making a move up the middle. Okay, looking Dorito way at first, you really don't have much. If those players play low and they crawl around, they could just come all the way over there or wrap this bunker and shoot you in the back, possibly. Over here, you might be able to stop the snake from wrapping and go into the 40-yard line. Over here, you do have a good gap on the snake and a little bit on the snake corner, but you kind of have to step out a little bit, which leaves the possibility of you getting shot by somebody else. Okay, going to the center wedge right now. Same thing as the snake side wedge. You don't really have much right here. You have even less on this side now. If this is the widest guy, I don't see this bunker being too bad. You could uh, definitely lock this guy up right here. Now let's go to the snake side tower. A lot of shots on the Dorito. But if you don't catch them sleeping, they could definitely hide and stay alive over there. So I'm not too sure how useful this bunker will be. Um, you can watch the snake lane, but you will be susceptible to getting shot in the back by the Dorito players. Now where everybody probably wants to be. On their side of the field right here. Can possibly shoot the Dorito players, but the way they're facing, they should be able to hide from you. Looking snake way, you got the snake gap right here little bit of the snake corner and then this gap okay so looking at the dorito brick now you might be able to catch a snake player sleeping but he could hide from you very easily so i could see players sitting right here on the dorito side and just shooting any wedge right here but besides that you really don't have too much you could see people if they run through but i don't think you'll be able to shoot them unless you get a really good shot in okay going to the dorito side can now this is a little bit of a run out, but if you dive, I'm pretty sure these bricks will be able to block you out and you should be able to make it safe. Heads up, heads up, you do not have your mirror, kind of how the snake side was. You can see little slithers of the Dorito, so you could catch them. All right, let's head over to the Dorito corner right here. Um, you cannot see the wire. You would have to step out to see the wire about a foot. Um, wrap shots. You can't really see too much of that, that inside Dorito. Um, you definitely have the wrap on that Dorito can. Inside shots, you don't really have much here either. The goal would probably just be to move up. You got a little bit of the corner. You got your mirror and the mini W on the snake side while you're making your bump. Okay. Over here, it looks like a true wire. So you'll be able to see the person in your mirror. Looking inside, you could probably sneak in a shot on the snake at the 40 yard line, your wedge, that tower. Okay, it looks like if you stay low enough, that Dorito brick probably won't be able to stop you. Come up here. Wrapping around this Dorito wedge, you would have to step out to see the wire. So you won't have to worry too much about that. Bunkers you will have to worry about is a home and this brick making your bump up and even the middle and the snake side if you aren't low enough. Okay, next up over here, got the snake Aztec, the brick again. Let's see, you see any of the snake? Not really. Got the wire. Let's say no one's there, you wrap around. Snake one can drop in a shot if you're standing tall over here. 
Okay, inside shots at the 50 Dorito. You got the Aztec over there. Probably could sneak in a shot on that can. Not really much else. What's up, bro? Okay, so let's say no one's down the wire and you're able to wrap this. You got the can at first, got the home, got the Aztec. Now we're entering enemy territory. To be able to wrap this, there can't be anybody in this Dorito, the one behind it. But first shot is right here. Can sneak a shot in on the can. Pop the top a little bit. You got the home, the snake side Aztec, snake corner that looks like a kill shot for sure. And anybody, the snake one looks like a kill shot as well. And this Dorito brick. Hopefully by the time you're here, game's pretty much over. Okay, you will get next backs and packs here. Can shoot the snake two right here. Obviously this Dorito brick, snake one, this can on the snake side, and the snake corner. I wouldn't be doing this if there's anybody in the Doritos, but you got the can right here, the home, Aztec, snake corner, mini W, can in the middle. Those are all kill shots, it looks like. Even the snake one. Wrap a little bit more, you got the snake two, and that snake side wedge. You know what the key is? You gotta shoot it the second it stops in midair. Yeah. So like the second it's about to drop, that's where you have to, like right before you see it like slowing down, boop. Get a nice one. That's cold as fuck. You're just like, this is what you gotta do. It's the first time. <laughs> it's it's been right. a while since I've done that. I'll play the, the homie. Right. I'm gonna play the homie right here. Where you wanna go? Yeah, you hear that? God damn it, Walker. Damn, that's crazy. No, we have five. We have eight. We have five and the one kid has a hopper. Yo, we lost our snake! Get up, Wayne! Kill two! Kill two, snake one! I think there's a snake. Right there. Right there. Get out. Right, if you guys made it this far please subscribe to my channel like the video share this with your friends help them get ready for chicago just like you are unfortunately a lot of people didn't come out to play so hopefully the next one i'll get some more footage for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one